So now we're going to look at some movements, a chair sequence for your legs, for your feet, for your ankles, and also for your hip joints. And we're going to be moving joint by joint. So first of all, before we start, just take a seated position. Be aware of your spine, that it's long, your shoulders down to the floor. Maybe releasing your neck a little bit, if there's tension there. And we'll take a few moments to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Slowly take nice deep inhales, soft, slow exhale. And just take a moment to be aware of how you're feeling in your body. Be mindful of this tension where it may be. And we're going to begin focusing down below on our feet. And we just raise your right leg, extend it in front of you. And we just begin to point and flex the feet. So when you point, you're strengthening the calf muscles and you're strengthening all your shin area. And it seems like a simple stretch, but it's quite intense. So just be mindful. You don't want to overdo it. You're creating space in the joint capsule and also in the ankle. And you're getting strength and flexibility in those muscles in our lower leg. So we begin to exaggerate the movement and feel what's happening as you exaggerate. And now begin to take your ankle in circles, just moving it one way, noticing the range of motion that you have, any spots that might be a bit more trickier. Keep breathing, your breathing is nice and long and slow. And then try in the opposite direction and see how that feels. Opposite circles. And you can place your foot down on the floor and let's take it to the other leg. First we begin by pointing and flexing. So reaching those toes as far as they can go and then you bring your foot back towards your shin. Feeling the back of your leg lengthen and just alternate from one movement to the other. Keep breathing. And then maybe slow it down a little. I'm really feeling the sensation of your movement as it's happening. You're sitting up tall, your core is engaged. You're also working your abdominal muscles and the muscles in your back. And now begin to move your foot in circles. You can try one direction and then maybe the other direction and see if there are any differences from one side to the other. And then bring your foot down to the floor. Now we look at the muscles of the upper legs here. So we'll start to straighten your right leg, strengthening the quadricep in order to extend the knee and then lower down. So you're straightening and lowering. Just lift as high as you're able to. So if, it, if your leg doesn't get all the way up straight, that's no problem. Just where you're able to move. Up and down. Now we'll take to the other side, straightening the left leg. Engaging the leg opening up your hamstrings and you're lowering it down. So just in your own rhythm, you're opening and then you're bringing your foot down, taking your time as you feel each motion, each movement. You place your foot on the floor. Wonderful. Now we're going to move into the hip joints. So you can lift your right thigh, hold under the thigh, 
and just take the shin around in circles. Good. Being very mindful with this movement, being aware muscle by muscle, joint by joint as you're moving and slowly drawing circles and maybe try the opposite direction. And then move the upper thigh also in circles. So now we're moving the thigh bone, the femur bone, around the hip sockets. Notice if there's any pain, you should really just back off and take a pause or skip this part. Otherwise, if it feels okay, if it feels good, keep the mobility in the joints and we can keep going with this. It's a little bit longer. Moving in one direction, maybe try in the opposite direction as well. Drawing your knee into your chest or as high as you're able to go. And you can either hold behind the thigh or in front of the shin and you're sitting up tall, knee in towards your chest giving some compression in your hip joint. Let's take a few moments here and slowly lower it down to the floor. We'll try the other side, so lifting your left leg and begin to hold beneath the shin and lower leg, you're moving it in circles. Wonderful. Keep moving, try one direction and then try the other. And great, and then move your upper thigh also in circles. You should hopefully feel an easy glide of your thigh bone moving in the hip socket here. Paying lots of attention. Be very aware, be very mindful when you're moving. And see what's happening inside your body. And try maybe the other direction. Again, be very mindful. And pulling your knee in towards your chest or as high as you can go. And slowly bring your foot down to the floor. Wonderful, well, thank you.